Just a few days ago on Wednesday, March 1st at Gigafactory, Texas, Tesla held their 2023 Investor Day, where Elon and other Tesla engineers highlighted Tesla's plans to not only continue revolutionizing the way we drive with bigger and more ambitious plans for their electric vehicle business, but they also revealed some amazing plans to convert the entire planet to renewable energy. While those plans and ambitions are quite amazing, there was a gym in there that flew under the radar and perhaps went over the heads of most viewers. That gym was a short clip presented by Elon Musk of Tesla's extremely controversial Optimus program. To the untrained eye, this short clip didn't show much, just a couple robots walking around and operating some basic power tools, which seems like nothing special, right? Well, that's where you would be wrong. Instead, this clip showed amazing progress and an incredible rate of development that means a lot more than what you might think. Welcome to my channel, TFC Tech, where we discuss fascinating topics surrounding science and technology. Today, we're going to tell the story of the Tesla bot and break down everything we know so far, as well as what new information we learned about it at Tesla's Investor Day. So if you're as excited about this as I am, hit that like button and the subscribe button. We are seriously close to hitting 1,000 subs, and let's get into it. In August 2021, Elon Musk revealed Tesla's plans to develop a humanoid artificially intelligent robot that would be constructed to perform dangerous, boring, or repetitive tasks that humans currently do. This unveiling was met with some extremely volatile discourse, with two parties arguing that it was either the biggest piece of junk and that it might herald in the end of the world, or that it was a genius idea that would propel Tesla to perhaps the most valuable company in the world. The truth is that most people didn't take this idea seriously, since many companies in the past have tried and failed to make marketable humanoid robots. Just look at Asimo, for example. Despite being a truly remarkable piece of technology that showed off Honda's engineering capability and Japan's technological edge, it was retired for good just last year, despite wowing the public and just being a really cool piece of tech. However, Tesla has been known to push the envelope on what technologies it thinks would take hold in the future, despite the critics. At this unveiling, Elon didn't have a working prototype yet, and instead showed off a dance routine from a person in a Tesla bot spandex suit, but did highlight some quite amazing features that would be present in the actual Optimus bot. As seen here, the bot is designed to be 5 foot 8 inches tall and weigh roughly 125 pounds. It will have a carrying capacity of 45 pounds while being able to deadlift up to 150 pounds. During this presentation, Elon poked fun at the idea of the robot being designed so that humans could easily overpower it, and in order to make sure a person could run away from it, designed Optimus with a max speed of only 5 miles per hour. He also stated that the actuators, motors, and gear trains would all be designed in-house, and that the software that would eventually power the bot would be the same software currently powering Tesla vehicles. Um, but uh, basically, if you think about what we're doing right now with the cars, uh, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are, like I said, semi-sentient robots on wheels. Um, and with uh, uh, the full self-driving computer, essentially the, the inference engine on the car, which we'll keep evolving, obviously, and uh, Dojo, neural nets, recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world, uh, it, it kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. Um, and we're also quite good at uh, sensors and batteries and uh, actuators, so uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year uh, that uh, is, basically looks like this. And so, in light of backlash and poor public opinion, Tesla pushed forward and unveiled the first prototype of Optimus at their AI Day 2 event on September 20th, 2022. This unveiling, much like the first, was extremely controversial and drew the same polarizing takes from onlookers. You had a group of forward thinkers and nerds like myself who saw Optimus walk out and had the foresight to realize that Tesla was actually serious about creating the bot. On the other hand, a perhaps larger group of people saw the first bot clunkily make its way across the stage and the second have to be carried by a group of engineers. This led to many comparisons being made to Boston Dynamics' Atlas robot, who had been developed to the stage of being able to do complex tricks and even some pretty serious parkour. When compared to Atlas, sure Optimus certainly looked like a newborn, but as I stated in my previous video, this comparison was apples and oranges. For example, Atlas had been in development for a decade, and this version of the Tesla bot 
had only been in production for six months. Sure, Optimus couldn't do parkour, but it had an innate ability that far surpassed what Atlas could bring to the mass market. Two big mantras within Tesla as a company are to do more with less and that the best part is no part. And these two beliefs showed themselves within the Optimus prototype unveiling. The goal of the Tesla bot, according to Elon, was not to be a flashy R&D project, but to be a mass-producible humanoid worker that could intelligently solve tasks and replace human labor in undesirable jobs. To achieve this, and to encapsulate the mantras mentioned, Tesla designed Optimus to be relatively slow and lightweight, but at the same time being dexterous and resourceful. That way, they could create a compelling product and also produce it cheaply enough that it would mature into a viable investment for the company. After all, the first practical application of Optimus will in fact be to work in Tesla's own factories. And here at AI Day 2, we learned a lot about how it was going to do that. We learned that as Elon said it would be, the same autopilot computer that powers all Tesla vehicles was present here in the Tesla bot. All they had to do was retrain the autopilot neural networks in order to facilitate the movement and navigation for a humanoid frame. We also learned that the robot was equipped with volumetric vision to avoid running into obstacles, and was able to be programmed to do things like carry boxes and water plants. This was spectacular progress considering that the only Optimus we had seen so far was just concepts. Despite seeing such an intelligent robot, critics were quick to jump on the fact that the Optimus we saw at AI Day 2 walked and moved like a cripple. Which, in my opinion, was very low-hanging fruit, considering that in robotics, movement and proprioception are some of the hardest mechanics to engineer. This was highlighted in the presentation where the engineers showed that even simple movements like the swaying of the arms while walking took months of work. Needless to say, after this presentation, Wall Street was not sold on the idea of the bot. And in classic Tesla fashion, Tesla stock tumbled 5% on the next trading day. And after that, those of us eagerly waiting for any news on the bot would endure 5 months of complete radio silence on any Optimus updates. That silence continued until just last week when Elon Musk and the Tesla team held their 2023 Investor Day. This Investor Day was designed to be a presentation to all of Tesla's investors covering their plans to ramp up Tesla's production to massive scale and serve as a platform for Elon Musk to unveil his Master Plan Part 3. Master Plan Part 3 was Elon's dream and plan for how Tesla was going to convert the entire world over to sustainable energy and how they were going to even get into electric boats and planes. Now while all of Wall Street was watching this event expecting the unveiling of a cheaper more affordable electric car, Elon slipped in a tiny segment about the Optimus robot, which only lasted for about 5 minutes, but gave us a treasure trove of updates on the progress made in the last 5 months. Now before we break down the details, take a look at this short clip and keep an eye out for what's different between now and the last AI day. It's kind of weird seeing the arms and legs just separate. We have a whole lab full of arms and legs. <clears throat> With bearing in mind that uh, when we did AI Day, uh, this version of Optimus didn't work, walk at all. So the rate of improvement here, I think, is, is quite uh, significant. Um, it's obviously not doing parkour, uh, but uh, it is walking around. And we have multiple, multiple uh, copies, I suppose, of Optimus. Um, the thing that I think Tesla brings to the table that others don't have is that we have um, We have the uh, real-world AI. We're, we're the most advanced in real-world AIs. So as we can see from the clip, the Tesla bot has made leaps and bounds in progress from when we first saw the prototype at AI Day. The first thing to notice is that there are multiple Tesla bots all walking around without needing a tether to hold them upright. This is by far the most substantial progress seen because that means they've gotten the hard part of developing it out of the way. The next thing to notice is that they are successfully using tools and able to pick up a small screw using their fingers which shows the precision needed to perform menial tasks within the factories. 
This level of improved capability is amazing considering that the team working on the bot have really only had roughly a year of development to make it this far. And if we extrapolate this rate of improvement out to 3 to 5 years, I imagine we'll absolutely have Optimus robots building Tesla vehicles. It's inevitable that within a few decades, humanoid robots will be a significant portion of the workforce, and that their impact will dramatically shift even what the word economy means. But that's a discussion for another day. So what comes next? Well, the robots are still in their infancy stage, and will need to become a lot more fluid in their movement and precision before we see them reach the skill level of a human worker. But I have faith in the team over at Tesla, and in the mind of Elon Musk, to truly make this a reality. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you a fan of what Tesla is doing with Optimus, or do you think it'll end up being scrapped like Asimo? Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.